New information in a murder case that we have been covering for you right here on Happening Now. Authorities studying the words of a parrot to decide whether the bird can provide evidence at trial. Martin Durham's parents believe that their son's pet parrot named Bud witnessed his murder and has been repeating his chilling last words ever since. And the victim's parents recording a video of the phrase that the parrot has been mimicking for more than a year. Listen closely. So, let's bring in our legal panel, Fred T.C., he's a former federal prosecutor, and Brian Claypool, he's a criminal defense attorney. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, uh, <laughs> so many jokes that we could say here, but it's a serious case, and it's not a joke to the victim's family. Uh, he was killed, shot, what, um, at least five different times. Is this a bird-brained idea, or could he actually become a witness in this murder case, Brian? Well, Heather, newsflash, in the, remember the Freddie, the trial recently at Cesar Goodson? I just heard a newsflash coming over here that there was a parrot inside the van who could have testified as to the rough ride, but the prosecution didn't call the parrot as a witness in that case. As bad as the prosecutor was in that Freddie Gray trial of Cesar Goodson, at least they didn't call a parrot to testify. It, in a more, on a more serious note, a defendant in a criminal trial, in a murder trial, has the right to, to confront the witness that's testifying against, in this case, it's the wife. She has a right to confront the witness. So how in the world are you going to be able to cross-examine cross parrot. this parrot? I, <laughs> right. yeah, I know well, how, look, Fred, yeah, Fred is the best trial lawyer in the country, but I don't know how yeah, he, right. even he could pull this off. Fred, what do you think? Well, well, a couple things. First of all, let me start by saying that I think it would be a mistake for the prosecution to use this parrot because I think it would create an appeal issue where you don't need it. Now, that's the serious part. On another note, I mean, it's not like this is some famous bird like Tweety Bird or Daffy Duck or my personal favorite, Foghorn Leghorn, whose credibility would not be, would be, is above reproach. This parrot's actually not testifying. The question really is, is whether or not this bird is mimicking something he heard akin to a tape recorder. And so mm -hmm. if the prosecution does want to do this and present some expert who's going to come in and testify that they're an expert in African parrots and this bird has to only hear something once to be able to repeat it and all it's doing is repeating it but this so parrot's Fred, not going to put one claw on the Bible <laughs> and raise another claw and testify and not going to happen all right so let's so, listen exactly. one more time listen one more time to what Bud had to say <laughs> And Fred, you were talking about an expert witness. Well, Bud is now living with the ex-wife of the murder victim, and she says that she does believe that the bird is mimicking um, the two voices, the what was the current wife, well, who's now accused of murdering him, and of course her ex-husband, because she says she knows what he sounds like. So listen to what she has to say. That is Marty's voice. And then I had to listen to the video again, like, oh my God, what is he saying? I know he's seen something pretty horrible. I know it's stuck there a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. I know he, because the way his cage was positioned, and he had the front row view. So, Fred, what about her testimony? Well, no, no, she's not what I had in mind when I said an expert. I'm talking about like a real expert in parrots. And, and if you want to see a criminal defense lawyer, and Brian's one of the best in the country, if you want to see their head explode, have them, have them talk, get, give them an opportunity to tell the jury about how this guy's ex-wife had the parrot, and she could taint the evidence, she could get the parrot to say whatever she wants. I mean, talk about chain of custody. That ain't happening. Brian, do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I do. The problem here, Heather, is it's hearsay, too. You can't, you can't take the words of a parrot and use that at trial. It's, it's hearsay. And, I, and, and another thing, too, you can't, how can you ask the parrot, where, where were you sitting in the cage when you saw this? What's the name of the person right. who said this? You can't well, get that information Well, there is some other evidence. They, they have hey, found the gun, hey, I want to know they whether... allegedly have found some suicide notes I, as well. i got to go. Thank you both for well, joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thank I want to know whether this is a, per, a parrot of interest. Yeah. <laughs> no. So many jokes. Thank you. Well, 